Now, in part A, we're given the position vectors of A and B, so that's O to A, not just A. So often I see people write this, it's O to A, alright? O to A equals 2i plus 6j minus k, and O to B is 3i plus 4j plus k. And we're asked to find the vector A to B. Now, just to show you what's actually happening, I always draw sketches. So if I was drawing the sketch for this, I would draw the line L1, and we have the points A and B on the line. I don't know exactly where they are, but that doesn't really matter. And I would show this as my origin. So we have the position vectors then of A, which is that one, which you could write as a column. I find it a lot quicker. O to A is 2, 6, minus 1. Similarly, O to B is the vector 3i, 4j, plus k, or you could write it as a column vector as 3, 4, 1. So, if you're asked to find A to B then, we could say that A to B, let's go down here, A to B would be a to O, which is the same as minus O to A, so that's minus O to A, followed by, that would be plus, the vector O to B. We can write this as O to B minus O to A. And this is a standard result. Many of you most probably wouldn't even bother doing this. You should know that going from one place to another via the origin is O to the last value minus O to the first value. So it's a standard result, so maybe you wouldn't want to do this. You'd just simply get on with the question so that A to B is 3, 4, 1 minus the vector 2, 6, minus 1. If you do that, I'm going to write it back in IJK format. You don't have to. But we have 3 minus 2, so that would be 1i, or just simply i. And 4 minus 6, that's minus 2j. And 1 minus minus 1, that is plus 2k. And that brings us then to the end of the first part, part A.